New this midday, the mayor is saying more about what the Mary County prosecutor described as shortcomings with the state's law designed to keep guns out of the hands of people who have been deemed dangerous. Prosecutor Ryan Meir says he was a unable to enforce the state's red flag law against the FedEx shooter Brandon Hole. Muir says it's because a doctor who treated Hull after a mental health call in March of last year did not prescribe medication. Also, an FBI assessment done at the time said that Hull was not a threat. Today, after Mayor Joe Hogsett spoke at this morning event, we asked him what could be done to make the laws stronger. Uh, certainly, uh, to the extent that there are loopholes that exist or that they need to be uh, updated in any way, I'm fully supportive of, uh, of that. And I will continue to advocate on a national basis, common sense uh, gun reform um, in, by way of background checks and uh, other discernible ways that we can keep um, illegally possessed guns out of the hands of people who, uh, who would otherwise do harm with them. And Police say Brandon Hull bought two assault-style rifles used in the FedEx shootings in the months after that mental health assessment last year. Those purchases also came after he and his family voluntarily surrendered a shotgun he'd previously bought to police.